Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do like a day in my life type vlog. So I'm going to take you around with me for everything that I do today. So I have all my catches. I've already fed Dylan and Kiara their morning meal because dogs are on a diet. So, they're not exactly happy about it, but so far, so good. So, other than that, you're going to follow me with everything. So, let's go. Okay, let's brush our teeth. I use the Sensodyne Proenium and Philips Sonicare. A little bit of the stuff goes a long ways. Like literally a little. and water for my workout.
So we're going to start with it's not enough water. We're going to start with the free wig out. So it's 8 ounces of water. To one scoop of the block Buster, and I'm using the apple juice one. This is so they had a sale going on, and I picked up these. They only have them in two flavors this and blue rest. I wish I would have got more of the apple juice because it tastes so much better. I can tell you because I've tried other pre workouts. Mansport has the best tasting one, and the you know, the macros on it are in line with everyone else. to do one scoop of the iso aminos in the dork flavor. So dork is not an overbearing taste. And we're going to do one scoop of the um, creatine. Right now I'm drinking this iced peachy green. I really, I like this flavor. The only thing about these is like it's a concentrate, so you don't need too terribly much in your drink, filling your water. But you have to drink these quickly once you open them. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks. Take the L carne. It's just one capful. You could do it twice a day. I usually just do it once a day. It's supposed to help with your metabolism. Okay, let's talk about this. So I wanted to get collagen because I read about it. It was good for your. Joints, muscle recovery, hair and nails, radiant skin. So I wanted it basically for joint function and muscle recovery. Even though my um, creatine is for muscle recovery, um, 
while I'm still, I took a break from working out and now I'm trying to get back into it. I wanted all the help I could get. Especially since I'm starting to have some joint. Uh, it's just like pain. And then the hair, nails, and skin was just a bonus. So I got this because it is unflavored. It's a powder. Some flavors you're supposed to be able to, you know, mix it with anything. And you're not supposed to taste it or smell it. And that's a lie. This crap does not mix up well. For one. So it's always lumpy. You can smell it. It has a smell. And it's not a good smell. And you can taste it. And it don't taste good. So I'm going to return this. But I found these collagen in their tablet forms. So this particular one has 60 milligrams of vitamin C and 6,000 milligrams of collagen. Shoo. We're gonna give it a go. See if it's any better. I don't know that it could be much worse than that one. Speaking of returns, I need to go do that. We're gonna that's, we're gonna do that next. I have some returns that I need to do. So how many are you supposed to take? Suggested use: take six tablets per day, all at once, or in divided doses. Um, yeah, I don't know that I'm going to take six. <laughs> we'll start with two. We'll see how we feel. If I think it's working, we'll, we can up it. Yeah, but. This is going to be one of the returns for coming out, so I definitely don't forget. Okay. So I started my work out again, and yesterday morning I woke up because my thigh, my left thigh muscle, felt like it was just contracted. So I pulled it. Tore it. I did something to it. I could barely walk. So, we're gonna have a banana to help with that. And I think we're going to have a muffin instead of my oatmeal. Just because I don't want these things to go bad. They're flipping humongous.
So, okay, guys, I'm going to go eat and do my returns. Then I'll catch back up with you guys because we've got to. Sh oh, and I'll drink my pre workout. Then we'll have to stretch. Then we'll go work out. Okay, guys, I have eaten my muffin, drank my pre workout. So now it is time to stretch. But as you can see, Dylan is in the way. He will probably, he sh should move once we start doing this. Or he'll just be a weirdo. You gonna be a weirdo? Mr. Dylan, you gonna be a weirdo. He's a big head, he's all in the way. You want your Santa baby? Oh, so, uh, let's, so, I'm just stretching my legs and my back at the same time right now. Dylan, seriously. Okay, let's move, you guys. How's that? Is that better? Not better. He's still in the way. Okay. I got all of them to move now. So we're just gonna stretch. Let's put socks on. Because we got to put shoes on. So, I don't know if I told you guys about why Dylan is on a diet. So, as you guys know, he is a German Shepherd. He's 100% purebred. I think he is a King German Shepherd. So, he is one of the bigger breeds. Now, he is actually the runt of his litter. So he is a littler. So I got him, um, I rescued him from a situation. Because all of my dogs are, are rescue dogs. Uh, we did buy them, um, other than I did pay money for Dylan, I paid $100, and I greatly would pay it again to get him out of the situation that he was in. It was a very bad situation, he was abused, he was neglected, when I got him he was severely malnourished. He it was like skin and bones and he was death white one was adopted as well um he was i believe he was at a animal shelter he was being fostered when we got him i believe um kiara is the same way um Kira is actually a German Shepherd Rottweiler mix. I know it's hard to believe that, <laughs> but she is. Um, especially when I get her groomed and she's shaved down, which she loves because she is high nature. She really looks like a Rottie then. Uh, and Angel is the same way. She Angel came from a friend that my husband worked with had got her to go with his older pit bull and they did not mix well so we took her in so yeah so Dylan is on a diet 
because last time we were at the vet, he was 98 pounds. And, which is perfectly fine because he's, uh, he's a big breed, but it had been brought to my attention that I've been noticing the way that he was sitting, he wasn't sitting on his butt, he would sit on his hip. So one, he's whining because I'm talking about it. So one of his legs would like be laid under him, like if he was a person. And that's very bad for him because he's already susceptible to hip and joint issues because of his breed and being a big dog. So we noticed that he was, um, he started to limp on his left side. So immediately he's going on a diet. You're gonna get more exercise to turn his weight into muscle versus just fat. Yeah, so that's why he is on a diet and it's gonna become his lifestyle. He just doesn't know it yet. He's seriously whining at me. So he gets canned food with green beans to help fill him up. And he's being fed twice a day. And we're gonna do more exercise. Unfortunately, all it does is rain in Georgia now. So I'm gonna have to get him out and get him active. You see. You don't like me talking about you? You don't want people to know your business. Look at you shedding. Buddy, why are you shedding? It's going into winter. Well, it is technically winter now. <laughs> Thank you for the hug, mister. He's a good boy, huh? This dog has saved me. Do down. Do down. He saved me more than I have saved him. He's really been my emotional support dog. You were dirty. You got mud on you. From all the daggone rain. In the backyard being muddy. Look at you. What do you got all this mud on you, mister? Huh. Okay guys, I'm going to finish doing my stretches and then we're going to go downstairs. <laughs> we got one of the returns for Amazon and it's being shipped back through the post office so we need to go put it in the mailbox. My other return for that collagen, they gave me my money back but don't want me to return it so okay. Let's go put this in the mailbox. Dylan's downstairs with me, so we're gonna let him stay in the gym <laughs> room. All right, is it raining? Let's see. Nope. But it sure is yucky out here. You see all of this? Because it has rained so damn much. It's crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah, we have to fly up. The daggone neighbors have a freaking pond in their yard. Isn't that something? We don't. Beware of dog dogs. Should have S on it. But oh well. Alright. Now it is time to work out. Let's go. There's still in weight on us. So currently I have a treadmill. This elliptical, I don't use it. I don't like it. It was gifted to me. I want it gone. And the row machine. This thing is hell on earth. That's what this thing is. <laughs> However, it's beneficial. And then look at this. These two boxes right here, all of this is donation. These Top topper donation. Okay, this is all the power aid my husband got me. This one is donation. So, I told you guys that I drink power aid zero. Well, this is the strawberry flavor. And then this one's the orange. The orange you can find no problem. The strawberry, not so much. There's only Walmart in a store called Ingles that sell it. Half the time you go to Walmart, it's not there. It started to be, we were going to Ingles, it wasn't there either. So my husband special orders it for me. So he orders five cases at a time, four cases of the strawberry and one case of the orange. I go through different spurts if I'm gonna drink water or if I'm gonna drink Powerade. Right now I'm, on a water kick and literally I am almost out of my water. I have three cases coming today. Like I, this is how serious my fluid intake is. It's crazy. But anyways, I'm donating all of this, all of this, all of this. There's so much. I'm just donating it. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't need it, we're not gonna eat it. Done. So we're gonna do the treadmill because yeah, it's been a while and since I um, had that muscle that, I'm trying to find a place to put you guys. Since I had, since my muscle like was pulled or whatever yesterday, I'm not gonna push it to do the row machine. That's typically what my schedule would be is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, treadmill. Tuesday, Thursday, row machine. And then Saturday, Sunday, whichever one I feel like. So yeah. But since I'm just getting back into it, we're not, mm, nope, we're not gonna push it. So yeah, so we're gonna turn the TV on. So get everything set up. Gotta get my watch set up. Okay, let's go.
I just finished my workout for today. Um, I'm going to water the plants down here. Then I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> so I'll probably talk to you guys after that. show you what I use but it's loving tan and now we're gonna brush out this wet hair with my wet brush and I'm gonna use this matrix total results 20 miracle creator uh, as a detangler and a heat protectant and then I'm gonna use my Dyson Dyson hair dryer to dry my hair. I just use this attachment. I don't know what it's draw my bangs and so that they do what I want them to do so I'll let them dry a little bit more then I'll go use the flat iron because where I brush them for whatever reason that part of my hair will get very frizzy and the only way to combat it is flat iron so yeah so since I have no reason today that's as much as I'm gonna dry my hair but like with that normal hair dryer, it could, it would easily take me like 30 minutes to an hour to dry all of my hair. Cause even though it's, I mean, it's long, but it's also very thick, even though my hairdresser has thinned it out for me. Um, it just takes that long. It's just so tedious. However, since I've got the Dyson, nope. I can literally soaking wet dry all my hair in like 15 20 minutes tops usually less so I love my Dyson trust me we paid that money for it so that is my honest <laughs> opinion on it but yeah so we're gonna wait on my hair to dry some more I think we're gonna go start some laundry and I think my water was just delivered so we need to bring that in two more cases. So, 
and they were supposed to be delivered by this guy. So, we're going to have to go track that. Hey guys, I wanted to show you these roses that I got from Costco. I got two different ones. And they're $17.99 for two dozen. So I got these white ones. They're pretty. So I separated these into two different bases. Uh, I'll show you why. But I also wanted to go ahead and show you guys, like this is where, right here, is where the countdown calendar was. So, check it out. So, accept what is, accept what is, let go of what was, and have faith in what will be. This is truly fits currently. Um, New Year's Eve, something changed. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to explain it, but something changed. I reached out to some people, and I am actually seeing the difference. So, anyways, um, his dream, um, that word means a lot to me. I... Uh, B. I have a B all over the place uh, because that's our last name. And then I got these magnets. My mom gave them to me for Christmas. Let's see. Can you guys see? What if we turn? So see, that magnet has Dream on it. So I immediately fell in love. Um, it just says Hope on that one and Inspire. So, yeah, I mean, it's very fitting for where I'm at currently in life. Still have the toasted vanilla chai candle. I won't stop using my candles. <laughs> um, maybe pill. This was here. Um, my dad gave me this for my birthday, I believe, last year. It is a Ford Falcon. It's really flipping awesome. Um, so, my dad actually has his Falcon that he purchased, you know, when he was probably a teenager. Um, hopefully one day we'll restore it, because I will cherish that car. And without the Falcon, there would be no Mustang. And I love him. Mustang it has my heart. It's had my heart since I was a kid. Probably a baby, for goodness sake. Uh, I'll tell you more about that later. But we have this flag. Um, and this flag is from my father in law when he passed away. Um, because of course he was in service. So this is the flag. Um, yeah. Let's, okay. Oh, here is my father-in-law. And then this is my mother-in-law when they got married. Um, this is a rose that my husband gave me, I believe. No, oh, I don't know. Well over a year ago. This is only supposed to last a year. This is the guarantee. But check it out. It is so vibrant. So blue is one of my favorite colors. It is, I mean, it's my favorite color. A blue rose is so rare. Speaking of blue rose, Here's another one that my husband got me that will forever be blue. Um, it's 
plated in gold. So yeah, it's really cool. And here are the rest of the roses that I have up here. Um, I probably could have fit the, all of them in this vase, but this vase is small compared to the other one I'm gonna show you in a minute. So I thought it'd be better if I just fold them. So let's go in here so I can show you the other. Check it out. So see how big this base is? It's too much. So this one actually has two dozen roses in it. And we have red and yellow. The combination is awesome. Um, yeah, they're very vibrant colors. Like, I just, I don't know. One of them, maybe, and I saw my vase, I had my vase out, because I was using this vase at Christmas in the um, bedroom with the potpourri. So when I brought it out and, brought it out and washed it, so then it was sitting on the island, and I was like, you know, I want to get flowers to put in there. So we did that. So, oh, as you can see, the water, that is that one case back here, right there, that just came that we unpacked. I had this one left and there was, I'm supposed to have two more cases. So that would actually fill, nah, yeah. It should fill the shelf back up, but yeah. I did track them and it says that they'll be delivered today by 9 p.m. I, I doubt it. I don't trust that at all. <laughs> but yeah, so. I don't know. Oh, yeah, so I got supper going. Looks good. It's a roast with potatoes and carrots. Let's give it a stir. Um, so it's, sorry, it's fire now. Uh, so I put a roast in here cut up some potatoes, had the carrots, and then it, I put a package of Italian seasoning, some minced garlic, and one can of beef broth. And I just have it on low. And I'm just gonna let it cook. Truthfully, I'm just gonna let it cook till probably like six o'clock. So it will have cooked for Probably 10 hours by the time that it, we're ready for it. But it was supposed to rain all day. However, that has changed. It's not going to be raining all day. So we shall see. Holy cow. Check it out. Can you see that plant? Or plant. It's like a tree. We'll go look out the door. Oh, but look. My little cactus that's growing. That's that uh, grump. This is the grump tree. I just took it out of the bag. Dude, it looks like it's dying. It's so brittle. I don't know. It keeps leaking water. That's why I have a paper towel. The little tree that had all the um, sparkles on it. And then my, what's it called? Succulent that I've had. As you can see, those two died, but this one, it stayed. Let's go look at this plant, or plant, jeez, this tree. See that tree? It has all these blooms on it, like, where did that come from? Like, it wasn't like that last week. Like, it just came out of nowhere.